You may think I'm sorting out the bedding for the animals on this mid Wales farm, but you be wrong. You might think this is an ordinary hayrick. But you'd be wrong again, for this is a two-bedroom house. A desirable country residence built out of bales. Where on earth did they get an idea like that? From America, where in the late 1800s, baling machines were first used by pioneers in the sandhills of Nebraska. Wood and bricks were expensive, so they built everything, churches, schools and houses, from straw bales. <laughs> straw buildings are enjoying a revival in the States. But these are no Yankees, they're a group of Brits who've got together in Wales for a four-day house-building course. Hands-on. They're actually putting together the house we saw earlier. The course tutor is Barbara Jones. She's completely sold on straw. You can do everything, everything to this house that you would do to a, to a, a 20th century house. The plumbing and the electrics are slightly easier because it's a lot easier to get your pipes through from outside to inside by, by going through a joint between the bales. It's also a lot easier to just cut a slot through the bale to run your wiring down into. If you want to put a back box in behind your electricity, all you have to do is make a wedge of wood that, that hammers into the bale and then you screw your box onto that. So all those services are the same, but the installation of them can be a lot easier. Buildings made from straw bales are incredibly strong. The big bad wolf could never blow this house down. But what if he set light to it? It's actually very difficult to burn a bale. It's like trying to burn a telephone directory. If you tear the pages off, you can do it, but if you try and burn the directory itself, you just can't make it do it. You can't. So they're, they're actually less of a fire risk than timber frame houses are. I think it's hard to visualise a straw bale house because the cement and brick companies have done their propaganda really well with the little, Three Little Pigs story. Um, what they didn't tell you was that the wolf worked for the brick company. In America, communities work together to put up their straw houses. These Brits certainly measure up to the spirit of the old frontier. With enterprise and a bit of back-breaking work, a straw house can be put up in days. What's yet to be nailed down is whether or not you need planning permission from the local authority to build a home out of bales. Our straw house is done. Well, almost. The outside walls have to be rendered with plaster to make them waterproof. In Wales, you need to keep the rain out. The house has been built for Brian Stinchcombe, who wanted to live in something a bit different on his small farm near Abergavenny. Brian grows organic vegetables and herbs. He doesn't grow straw, though he's got plenty of it indoors. Well, this is amazing, isn't it? What's this here? This, well, this is a living room and uh, kitchen, I suppose, Rupert. It's really cosy, and it's warm, too. Yeah, we've got a little uh, coke fire going. So this is the kitchen, and this is where you spend your evenings. Yeah. Um, you've obviously got a bit of work to do yet. Yeah, we've got quite a bit yet. Uh, have you got uh, gas? Colour gas, yeah. Colour gas, not the mains. No, no. Water? Yeah, just, I mean, it's not fixed. It just came in a couple of days ago. What's this here? Yeah, this is going to be the bathroom. Uh, in here? Yeah. We've got a nice cast iron bath to put in there. I see you've already got guests then. Yeah. How long are they going to be here? I think they'll be off in the morning. Oh, not like some are out staying yeah. there welcome. <laughs> no, no. Uh, oh, excuse me. Typical. The minute you start filming, the phone always rings. Though somehow I didn't Hello? expect it to happen All in right. a straw house. Yeah. Listen, could you ring me back, please? Or I'll ring you back in about ten minutes. Is that all right? Great, thanks. So when are you going to get the fax installed, then? <laughs> yeah, we need something. <laughs> this is the bedroom, obviously. Yeah. What's it like sleeping in here? Oh, it's, it's, it's great. Do you not lie awake at night, though, wondering, you know, if you've got mice or no. rats even no, burrowing I, away in here? I've got a couple of decent cats. No, I don't worry about that. Not at all. How much did it cost you to build this place, do you think? I should think probably £10,000. It's incredibly cheap. So will Brian's bale bungalow remain Britain's only one? A question for Brian's friend Valerie, who originally suggested the idea. Well, it is the first, and it would be nice to think that more will be built. 
I don't think there'll be many in Wales because there's not a lot of straw here, but perhaps somewhere like East Anglia. On the other hand, of course, land's dear over there, so perhaps it will remain something of a rarity.